there a zombie outside? Not a zombie. Oh, they broke my barricade. Yo. The zombies broke my barricades. You broke my barricade. You broke my barricade, you scumbag. Who said you could break my barricade? Oh, uh, no. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Last Day. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. So today we're not really doing a viewer idea. Today we're doing something a little bit different, which is going to be number one, covering the update. The new update is coming out really, really soon, so I need to get this video out before that actually shows up, so it's actually relevant. And number two, we'll also be covering a couple of your questions, a couple of rumors that I kind of wanted to help you guys out and figure out whether it's true or not. And we also want to cover a couple of myths too, which is kind of really cool. Now this right here that I'm going to show you right now, it's not something I discovered. I actually read about this in the Last Day on Earth um, Reddit. So this is not my idea. People showed this and I was like, oh, that's actually pretty cool. So in case you guys haven't searched the map, because the map is huge, by the way. You could go around and around and see a lot of cool things in this map, which hopefully at some point becomes available. But um, I've never really done that until I saw this Reddit post. So check this out. We're here at the Rampage base for uh, the base for a reason, right? I I'm going to actually go in there to show you something about the, the chopper in there that people have been asking me about. But before we go in there, check this out. Now, what do we know about the virus is my question. We know it's some virus that obviously mutated people into zombies and mutants and all sorts of crazy stuff, right? But how did it actually start? I'm not sure if we know about that. I know that when you're doing the loading screen, there's a couple of little small story snippets on occasion that tells you about like the history of the game. But I'm not sure if there's something that tells you exactly how the virus started. So this here might actually answer that question. So from here, if you move your map this way, which is going to be northeast, check this out right over here. This is actually super weird. Like everything else is like, it'll be like roads, trees, you'll see like mountains and stuff. This right here is not a mountain, man. This is not a mountain whatsoever. This to me looks like something hit the earth in some crazy force. Like as a matter of fact, if you look at it, it looks like an asteroid maybe, some sort of meteor or something. This is like, you know, some Sephiroth shit from Final Fantasy VII right here. But as you can see, this is actually an impact on the land itself because there's the big indent over here, which is apparently round. And then it makes a crevice into the land itself and everything around it as you can see is actually surrounding that impact so this right here has to be an impact and i wonder if this is actually how the virus actually came maybe it's a virus from outside the world who knows but this seemed really interesting and i'd figure i'd show it off just in case you guys haven't looked around the map i mean i know i haven't so this was actually new to me which i think is pretty cool so right here if you have any ideas about that any theories you want to tell me about tell me in the comments down below i'm actually actually curious to read what you guys have to say about this but this right here is actually super weird and i would be really surprised if this is not part of the story at some point anyway now that we've covered that over here this is um way too far that's the this over here is the oak area so when people are asking me about oak stuff like oak wood logs this is where you would get it obviously but the problem is you can't get over there without um an atv at the very least and if you want to come down here to this this is by, by the way this is bunker charlie down here in order to get to bunker charlie if we click on this over here it'll tell you build yourself the helicopter so the bunker charlie could only be accessed with a helicopter while this over here the pump jack access denied well let's go to how about this one right here transport required atv so in order to get to the oak stuff you need the atv for a fact which we cannot finish at the moment and to get to Bunker Charlie, which I do have a card for, we need the helicopter. So those are some things I wanted to cover really quickly. Now, we're going to be going into the Rampage base because people have been asking me, Falcon, what happens if I complete the motorcycle in here? Can I use it? And I tell this to everybody that asks me that, don't do that because you're wasting your resources. There is no way, by the way, I wanted to find out if the items actually restocked. Oh, they do. I think they restock. Maybe? Huh. Like, people in Reddit have been saying that the items actually restock after a while, and no, that's nothing in here. No, you know what, the water's there because I believe I left it there last time around when I was here. So no, the items have not restocked for me. Some people have been saying that they actually restock, but as you can see right now, I don't think that actually does happen. So that might be another one of the usual rumors and myths that people talk about that aren't really true. People like to lie on the internet, man, what can I say? Anyway, here's the chopper, right? People have been asking me, Falcon... Can we complete the items missing here and then ride the bike? You can't do that. Now, this is where the new update that's coming out really soon might change this. Now, let me... Uh, I'm gonna be attacked by monsters here, so... 
We'll be ready for that. Right now on the video, I should- here's the monster. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Right on time, huh? I'm gonna be attacked by monsters and you show up instantly. Now, on the video right now, I'm gonna have a post from- Oh, I lost my pants! You took my pants off, you perverted zombie! On the video right now, I will have a post from the latest, um, update, news, from the developers. And I'm gonna pull that up here in my tablet, and I'm gonna read it to you. Meanwhile, I'm here, so if I get attacked... You guys let me know if I get attacked, so I'm gonna be reading this here to you guys. So, this is what's coming up in the new update, hopefully by the end of this week. Hope you like the live stream from our office. Meanwhile, we continue sharing the results of work that's been completed. Necrotic Hybrid is not the only one coming to the game this week. I'll try to have a picture of the Necrotic Hybrid as well right now. That's gonna be a new enemy. Now, I'll talk about him pretty soon. Let me go back to this, though. The time has come for the chopper. The recipe of its assembling was slightly changed. Four backpacks replace its exhaust. So, let me show what that means. So, the exhaust is this one right here. Now, it sucks because this is one that you actually can get in the- Oh, God damn it! what is it now? Go into auto mode. Yo, guys, I'm over here busy trying to discuss things with my viewers. Can you, like, go away? Oh, I leveled up, too. Perfect. <laughs> Let me go back in here. So, what they're saying right now is that the exhaust is going to be removed from the recipe, and instead we'll have to build four backpacks for it, which is relatively easy. We decided to extend its functionality and give you a possibility not only to move quickly, but also to transport more items. What that means is that we'll probably be able to go out there, and then once our backpack is filled up, we could probably put items into the chopper for more resource gathering in one trip, which is actually very awesome. Gasoline drop is increased, and a chopper repaint opportunity is added. Ten new skins and five new colors are already ready. So, this is what confuses me a little bit. When it says gasoline drop, I'm not sure if it's talking about this here, which is the gas tank, or if it's talking about the item. Yeah, yeah, you, you get him, automatic mode. You get that stupid wolf. I'm over here trying to discuss things, okay? Can I pick up the... Yeah, let me pick this up really quickly so I could heal myself on the fly as well. Okay. So, when it's talking about the the gasoline drop is already increased, I'm not sure if they mean... And here's the problem why I don't know, I don't know what they mean, because... They're... I'm not sure where they're from. I'm, I think it might be a Russian game. I'm not sure where the nationality is from the developers. So sometimes the translation can be a little bit weird on items and also what they're trying to tell us, right? Um, so I'm not sure if they're talking about... the gas tank, or if they're talking about the gas tanks you actually find. And I'll show you what that item is pretty soon, because I'm gonna go back home pretty soon anyway. So let's actually leave right now, and we'll talk about the the necrotic zombie that they mentioned here pretty soon. So let me just go over here now that we're safe and sound. Let me use a couple of points to jump home. Should be able to jump over here just fine. 42? Ugh, that's a lot. So, there's actually a gasoline can item in the game. Okay, so this here is the tank for the ATV. Don't get this confused with the chopper tank, mind you, because I feel a lot of people do that as well. So, when people tell me, Falcon, I have found a gas tank, I feel like you literally mean this. Now, on their little update here, when they mention that they've increased the gasoline drop, I think they mean this over here. I think this is what they actually mean. Fuel for vehicles, because obviously in order to use the ATV and to use a chopper, you have to refuel it, right? So I think they're talking about this over here. But now my question is, if you're increasing the drop rate for this, then, what about this? Is this in the game or not? And again, I go back to the whole thing where people are telling me, Falcon, I have found it. And I still can't say I believe you, because I've been, you know, playing this game for a while now, and I haven't found it. A lot of people have been playing this game for even longer than I have, and in the Reddit forums, they're talking about they've never found it themselves. This is available, the Chopper Fork, but you actually have to buy it by going to the, the in-app store. You have to buy, which one is it? The, the Box of Spares. So, and here's the problem, the developers are doing a good job telling us some new information, which is great, but they're not making it clear about the questions that we have. Like, my question is, can I, for a fact, find this? Because people are saying yes, but there's, I, I have not seen any actual evidence. Like, if you guys have this, mind you, send me a screenshot to my Twitter. Uh, my Twitter is in the description down below. Send it to my Twitter. I want to see it, and please don't try to troll me and, like, go take a picture of the chopper in the Rampage base or whatever. Show me that you have yours, as a matter of fact. Because I want to believe that it's actually in the game, but 
I haven't seen it, and a lot of people that have been playing this game forever have not seen it as well. But then people are saying, oh yeah, I have it, so... Who knows? If we could all stop lying and trolling each other, I think we'd probably be better off, but... Who knows? That's what they talked about the chopper, so the chopper is coming up this update. But again, the problem is, can we actually complete it? I don't know. Now, when they talked about the skins and the coloring... Uh, that's not it. Wait, where's my... my can at? So these right here will finally have a use. This right here, the spray can't, or the, the spray can't, the spray paint, we'll be able to use this to actually color our vehicles. Probably down the line, they'll also make it so you could actually color the ATV or something. I wouldn't be surprised. But right now, we'll be able to use these bad boys over here to customize our bike. So there is the chopper update. It's coming up by the end of this week. Are you going to be able to complete it or not? I don't know, but we'll see. Now, here's my interesting scenario. Once they add this update here, can we now go back to the Rampage base and now complete that bicycle and then steal it from them? So now, I'm telling you right now, don't put your items in there. But after the update, maybe then you could actually put your items in there and steal the bike from the Rampage base. Now, I'm not telling you to do it because I don't want you to waste your items and then find out you can't actually do that. So, whether you want to be experimental yourself or not, give it a try. But it's all on you. Don't blame me if you can't actually use it afterwards. But don't do it now. Wait until after the update at the very least. But right now, you cannot do that. That's one of the questions I've been getting a lot, so I wanted to cover that. So, this video is going to be kind of short, guys. I just want to talk about the update, show you that crater, answer the question about whether you could finish that bike at the moment. The last thing we'll talk about right now is going to be, let's see here, the necrotic zombie. This is a new zombie that's coming up here pretty soon. I'll have a picture of it right now. Let me read this. In five days, you sent as many guesses of the new creature. And they have a couple of examples. The Cloanger, the Crabinator, the You Must Run When You See It, Crab Zombie, yada, yada, yada. So his name is the necrotic hybrid. And soon this character will appear in one of the bunkers. Now remember, the only bunkers we could actually access right now is A and B. Its body grows emanate toxic slime that would be an additional way to attack survivors as when stepping on it, the player will get additional damage. So what they'll do is that they'll leave like maybe you know how the spitters have the green spit? Um, it'll probably be on the floor and if you stand on it, it'll actually hurt you a little bit. That's going to be this guy's special attack more than likely. Now, do they mean it's going to show up the moment you walk into the bunker? See, my idea is he's going to be in bunker A underground. You know how we need the code to get underground? I think that's what he'll probably be. Ultimately. So does that mean they're going to give us the code for the bunker now? No idea. So again, there's speculation. These are all just kind of like things I've been thinking about, so I don't really have a yes or no answer to you. But if you ask me, I'm thinking this zombie is going to be underground in bunker A. And I say this because I actually saw the live stream that they did. I don't have a video for that, unfortunately. I didn't record that. But I watched the live stream video when they were doing it. And... They showed a really cool, like, underground base. And if that means anything, it must mean Bunker A underground. So I think he'll probably be underground. You'll be able to find some really cool items, some really cool stuff. New zombies and stuff like that. And I think he'll probably be like a boss in the underground Bunker A. That's my idea. I'm not saying it's for a fact gonna happen, but that's kind of like my idea of the entire thing here. So that's what I was thinking about here. And then other than that, guys, as I mentioned, this will be a short video. Um, there's no viewer ideas at the moment. There's a couple of ones that have come in, but honestly, as I mentioned, I've done just about everything other than just farming nonstop. I want to do a video where I want to go to the... to the red area again, decked out, and I want to kill the sniper. I want to see if it's possible to kill him and then take his gun for you to use the Ventoris. That would be very cool, but in order to do that, I need to get myself decked out, and I've been talking here long enough, so I won't do it this video. I will try to figure out how to do that, and if I can do it, I'll record it, and um, we'll do a video hopefully killing that guy, and taking the Ventores, and finding out whether we could use it or not. And the reason why I'm asking, or I'm bringing this up, is because people have actually killed NPCs with the upgraded backpack, which is the one... Oh, let's see, where's that at? Here we go, military backpack. People have said that they've actually killed NPCs, the AIs that spawn, with the backpack, this one right here, and even this one. But when you kill the NPCs that are carrying it, in the item, when you when you loot the body, it only shows up as... the regular backpack. <laughs> so, I just don't think it's implemented as yet. 
So either way, I want to find out if that's possible with the Venturis. Like, if you kill the guy with the Venturis, can you actually use it, or will it show up as a different weapon or something? I don't know. So that's going to be my idea for the next video. I figure I'd tell you a little bit about it here right now, but this will be a shorter video than usual, no action. I just wanted to kind of cover the updates and also, uh, you know, just share my ideas about what the updates probably mean and also answer a couple of questions, especially people that are using your hard-earned items to complete the chopper and the rampage base and you can't actually complete it. So don't do that right now. If you're going to do it, Wait until after the update. So, other than that, let's actually go over here and say goodbye to Wolverine. How you doing, buddy? You don't like your name still, do you? No, you don't like your name still. He's just very angry. He's always biting my, my bird balls over here. What a scumbag. Alright, it's so gonna wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, small video, no action here, but I wanted to cover some updates and also give you guys some new information. And also answer a couple of your questions. So, as always, is there a zombie outside? It's not a zombie. Oh, they broke my barricade! Yo! The zombies broke my barricades! You broke my barricade! You broke my barricade, you scumbag! Who said you could break my barricade? Oh, no! <laughs> I had two of them out here and they broke it! Anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.